Hello, and welcome to your weekly dose of Amazon Ads news and updates. Are you ready to be in the know? My name is Claire Hall, and I am a product marketing manager here in the Amazon Ads Partners business. Now, today we are joined by our tech evangelist, Jeff Cohen, who is here to talk to us about trends in award-winning campaigns from the recent Partner Awards. Welcome, Jeff. Hey, welcome. Thanks for having me back on. Excited to uh, share some of the learnings from all these award-winning campaigns. Always great to have you on, Jeff. Um, brilliant. So first question for you today, Jeff. Um, what are the Partner Awards? Yeah, so let's start with that. So the Partner Awards are our chance to celebrate the amazing work that our partners are doing um, across the globe for advertisers and for agencies and working together, partners, advertisers, agencies, service providers. Um, what was um, really cool was all these campaigns took place, you know, between uh, 2022 and 2023. The awards were submitted around um, June of last year. And then at Unboxed, we have a, uh, a gala event where we celebrate the winners. So uh, we had hundreds of applications. Um, we had uh, applications from 26 different countries. And this year, um, the awards were categorized into uh, performance awards, challenger, global expansion, technology innovation, creative brand building. And for some of the awards like uh, performance and challenger, we had different regional awards. So we had um, you know, winners from uh, the North America region or from the EU region or from the um, Asia region. So we really wanted to get a mix of different types of campaigns and different types of um, budgets to really, you know, demonstrate the great work that advertisers are doing. Thanks for the overview, Jeff. And I think it's so important to have that diversity. And sounds like they were there are a lot of really interesting ca uh, categories. So. Um, yeah, I know you recently wrote a blog on the winning strategies of 2023 Amazon Ads Partner Awards. So can you share some of those strategies with us? Yeah, so what I did was I went through all of the applications from all of our award winners um, and tried to kind of put some themes together. And I think like one of the big themes around um, some of the strategies was there were really compelling brand stories, right? So many of our winners went past their traditional advertising and tried to incorporate more like documentary multimedia content into their ad campaigns. And this really starts to demonstrate like the power that storytelling has as you start to look at cross channel type of campaigns. And as you're trying to build a deeper connection between the shopper and the advertiser. So let me give you an example. So one of our partners, uh, VML and L V M L Y and R commerce, um, and Stackline partnered up with um, General Mills for an Earth uh, Month campaign. And what they did was they curated uh, nature documentaries that were on Prime Video, and they wanted to spread the awareness of this campaign with, with Fire TV ads. And so what they did was that for every hour that was watched, General Mills donated money to the National Park Foundation and um, you know, the campaign's donations totaled over $100,000. Now, the partner creativity about this approach really demonstrated like how the engagement um, happened from like the brand all the way through to making purchase commitments. So this was a campaign that wasn't really designed to drive purchases. It was designed to to drive awareness and to drive um, you know connection to 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 the to the nature, but it still drove um, sales for the brand. One of the other themes that we kind of saw was the ability to map um, strategies to the customer journey, and we know that like isolated campaigns, when they're in this like less cohesive manner, um, they're 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 usually less successful. Uh, but when you have an integrated strategy and you you start with awareness before moving to consideration and conversion, you can get more success. And so one of our partners, Global Overview, was working with a company, uh, the nut butter company called Pip and Nut, um, and they built this coordinated strategy. So for this strategy, they used sponsored brand video and sponsored display. 
in conjunction with Amazon DSP. And this allowed them ultimately to reach new audiences. Um, and the upper funnel activity led to an 871% increase in total ad attributed um, new to brand customers for the client. And so like these are like great examples of how ads and products work in combination with one another to truly drive uh, the result. I think the, the, the final theme is this concept of like um, localization for global expansion, right? And um, as companies are looking to expand internationally, they need to partner who can really understand like a global vision, but also have local execution. And that's kind of a you know a, a difficult balance to mix. And so, like an example of this was the work that um, one of our partners, Podian, did with um, the brand, uh, the cosmetic brand Elf. Um, and they used the combination of like sponsor products and Amazon DSP, um, as well as like their own retail uh, framework to help them build sales in. Uh, the United Kingdom and Canada, right? So these were new markets that they were moving into um, where they already had like success and a brand name in the US, they didn't in these. And so during the campaign, the Canadian sales grew by 131% year over year and the sales grew um, in the UK by 60%. And while they weren't even focused on the US, um, they still had an increase by 97%. And when I say not focused, I mean like that campaign wasn't focused on the US. Don't worry, ELF does plenty to focus on the US. Thanks, Jeff. I think these are these are some yeah. great tips. There's so much we can learn from the partners who who were who won and who were the finalists in the partner awards. Um, can you think of any other great examples that or strategies like that we could learn from? Yeah, what, one that um, really continued to, to show throughout the awards was this idea of um, testing and a culture of, of, of testing. And Amazon Ads is constantly launching new features and new capabilities. And we found that our innovative partners are the ones who are able to test these new features and um, figure out exactly how they're going to work within their business, right? So an example of this was um, a tech innovation company called XMars. It's powered by the technology behind SparkX Global. And I think like they use the sophistication of like a user-friendly AI tool um, to automate and monitor their clients' um, campaigns, right? So the client was called uh, Sunday's Decor. Um, and they're in the home decor brand. And from this, they were able to demonstrate a 408% increase in ad attributed sales in just two months. So when we're able to take like our, our technology and integrate it in with our features and then add technology on top of that, such as uh, an AI intelligence, our tech providers are able to generate really great results for their brands. Now, another example that um, we saw was the ability to strategically allocate resources, right? So not everybody has a big budget and not everybody has all of the opportunities um, that, that somebody else might have. So what can you do when you're strategically allocating resources? In this example, we saw um, a company called Lab916 and they were working with a company called Kobos and they were able to concentrate their sponsored brand ads on specific terms and products that ensured the highest likelihood that the Kobo candles would generate sales. Now this allowed them to truly concentrate on like getting the best possible ROI for their campaign. And I think it's really critical to understand that like sometimes you got big global budgets and there's things you can do and sometimes you got small budgets, but in both of these cases, they were able to start by testing with a small budget and then growing as they saw the success that they thought could drive their business. Thanks, Jeff. Test and learn is always an important aspect of, uh, of life at Amazon, and it's great to see uh, the partners engaging in this way, and also to hear the uh, the impressive statistics that that you gave us. You know, you mentioned you've mentioned a few. You mentioned a 408 percent increase in ad attributed sales in just two months. I know there was another really impressive stat in the the first few examples you gave. So, um, yeah, it's great to see how these strategies can can drive that that type of success. Yeah, I think, yeah, I yeah, think okay. that overall, I, I think that overall, like when you're 
when you're thinking about this as like a partner who's maybe thinking about applying for an award next year or whether you're a, um, a brand that's looking to, to engage with one of these partners, I think there's a couple of things that, that, that maybe we could take into account. One is um, if you got award winning campaigns, share them with us. We want to hear like that's probably the first thing. The second is like think about like ways to celebrate creativity, right? Like think about ways that, that you can go beyond uh, what's, what's being done, right? Award-winning campaigns aren't just repeating the normal things. They're pushing the boundaries, right? They're creating innovation. It's, it's, you know, one of the big things in terms of like some of the people who were finalists this year um, or finalists last year and weren't finalists this year, they said, wow, the bar really was raised this year and the types of campaigns that were um, that were selected as being finalists. So as you know, you're thinking of building these campaigns, as you're thinking about building your technology, think about really what you can do to drive the innovation, um, you know, for advertisers and help them do something different than what's currently being done. And then finally, like think about brand building, right? Brand building is really critical. And yes, sponsored products is very critical to all businesses and, and understanding and running that is great. But as you start to move upper funnel and you start to look at things like using just new things from this year, sponsored TV um, or AMC audiences, like how are you using those to help build brands, help them expand to new regions, um, help them expand new product lines, right? There's lots of different ways for expansion to occur. And those are like the, the types of stories that we want to really truly celebrate when we talk about award-winning campaigns. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. Uh, I think that's all we got time for today. So we always appreciate when you make the time to come on. Yeah, definitely check out the um, we'll put a link to the to the full blog. You can read about, you know, all of our award winners and, you know, make sure you mark your calendar to keep an eye out for for future updates for the 2024 awards. Yeah, definitely exciting. We will make sure that link is is in the comments. All right. So thank you all very much for watching today. Please do let us know what you thought of the discussion. Pop your comments in the in the comments below and you can also reach out uh, via email in the know social at amazon.com and we look forward to seeing you next week on in the know.